This is ThinkBuddy. I've been using this on my Mac for the past few months. You might have seen it in a few videos. And it handles a few tasks for me with customizable hotkeys like that and that. It's got quick chat, voice chat, text actions, and screenshot analysis. And don't worry, I'll explain all that in just a moment. Now, I've been a longtime user of ChatGPT, even shelling out 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT Plus, despite some clunkiness in the web interface. But also, when it comes to crafting written content, I've leaned into Claude by Anthropic more recently, and I've talked about that on the channel too. It's got that human touch that ChatGPT seems to be missing, which is why I've also bought some Claude credit. Edits. But uh, for analyzing extremely long content in multimodal way that gives me file, audio, and video analysis too, I've been using Gemini AI Studio by Google for that sweet, sweet 2 million token size context window. In fact, I've pretty much traded a lot of my traditional entertainment services like Hulu Plus, Netflix, Disney, Apple Plus. I've got rid of those in favor of beefing up my collection of produtainment services like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Runway, Gemini, Claw. Odd projectainment. I, I came up with that. I'm pretty proud of that. Thank you very much. Because all these productivity tools can also be used as entertainment if you don't ever end up using them for productivity. So trademark, baby. Now paying for all these subscriptions adds up too. And that's when you get from ThinkBuddy reached out to me and clued me in on their tool ThinkBuddy. And I swear my honest reaction was this is perfect. This is exactly what I've been looking for. This gives me access to all the LLMs that I've been using and more all from a single user interface interface with custom hotkeys that I can use directly from my desktop. I was pretty excited and I started using it. And when I saw how much ThinkBuddy actually elevated my workflow, I had to jump on board and make a sponsored video so that I can share it with all of you. And apparently I'm not the only one that thought so because ThinkBuddy hit number one product of the day when they launched on Product Hunt. And then uh, something happened. OpenAI announced ChatGPT Mac app. And I thought, uh-oh, ThinkBuddy's in trouble now. But I said that forgetting a couple of really key aspects of ThinkBuddy that nobody else can touch. And then my concerns were alleviated when ChatGPT actually launched their app and it was basically the same as their web interface. In the meantime, ThinkBuddy has been moving so fast and launched feature after feature that they're really far ahead of the curve in every aspect. And it offers some features that ChatGPT will never have. For example, my favorite new feature is is Remix, which not only lets you select from some of the most popular models out there, like here we got GPT-40, GPT Turbo, Mixtral, Llama 3, Claude, Opus, Haiku, Gemini. So you get individual responses to your prompt from each one of these that you have selected and a remixed version generated by ThinkBuddy that combines the best parts of each one of the responses into a single one. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I got a parking ticket and I was trying to figure out how to handle it. Moving on, Remix is a brand new feature that they just launched, but a feature that's been around that I've been using to save me time for a while now is hotkeys. This is an amazing thing that's gonna revolutionize how you interact with these LLMs. You can save a bunch of these prompts and link them to shortcuts using different models that you prefer. For example, here I'm gonna create a new prompt. Let's call it AZ Code Refactor Options. Analyze selected code and offer suggestions on how to improve it. You can select the creativity and the model you want to use. So let's go with uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro for this one. And I'm going to record a hotkey for this. Let's go with command option A. Now I want to have some code that I'm working on. I select a bit of code and I say option command A. And this will go out to Gemini or one of the other ones you can select instead of being stuck with just using whatever GitHub Copilot provides. Here it's suggesting ways that you can refactor your code. And guess what? I can use re Remix for this too. So I can select GPT-4 Turbo. I can select Grok Mixtral and say, give me more options. And now I'm going to get responses not only from Gemini, but from Claude, GPT-4, Grok, and the Remix for all those models as well. Now, I've been using shortcuts for assessing code security, analyzing the selection of the code, and I've been a little lazy in replying to certain emails. So I have a quick reply map to option command R to reply to an email. These are certain marketing emails that 
If they're sending me a blast, then I can blast it right back at them. And I don't feel bad about it. So this feels like a native tool that's part of Mac OS and you can actually try it for free. Now, if you look at the pricing here, there is a free basic tier. Of course, you're limited to the number of things you can ask, but even for the plus version, which is $25 a month, that's gonna cost you less than even two of those services. And you get access to all those models from all those vendors. Plus you get quick chat and voice voice, text action and inline, screen capture, voice transcription, and coming soon, local LLMs too. Now you might be wondering what are all these different things I'm getting, which by the way, you also get with a free version too. Well, command space. If you go over here to settings, you'll see that we have quick chat, which you do with option command Q. It brings up a little tiny window here where you can type, paste, or speak. Write a Python function that'll find prime numbers from one to N. And there it goes. For some things like code or explanations, it's probably better to do it in the large window instead of the tiny window up there. But for short little things, it's good. And when it's done, you can actually say continue in chat. And that way you get access to the entire response with nicely formatted code that you can just copy and paste. There's also quick voice, which is a similar thing to what we just seen. Text actions is cool. Let's say you're reading a web page, for example, you can select everything and just say option command B and it'll pop up this little window where you can say, oh, summarize it. And it gives you a bunch of other options. And there's a summary of this entire article. This is the fastest workflow for something like this I've ever seen. There's also screen capture with the customizable shortcut here too. Let's see, I have this photo of a keyboard here. Option command I. Let's do a little selection of the keyboard. What is this? And Gemini says, this is a keyboard. Thanks, Gemini. GPT-4 is a little bit more descriptive. This is a mechanical keyboard with some description of the visual, but it doesn't tell me what model it is. We're not quite there yet, I guess, but that's up to the vendor of the LLM to really give us the proper identification of the actual item, but that's good enough for me. That's ThinkBuddy. I've been using it. I'm pretty excited about it, and I wanted to share with you. Thanks to ThinkBuddy for sponsoring this video and to all of you for watching it. I will see you all very soon.